ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 9th Chapter, Text Number 3, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 10th of February, 1976, in Mayapur, India. Sri Rupa Chakra Jatam Thereafter, Lord Brahma requested Prahlad Maharaj, who was standing very nearby, and asked Prahlad Maharaj to go forward, and said, My dear son, Lord Nasringadeva is very, very angry upon your demonic father, and you can go forward and appease him, the Lord. Mrlāraṁ prēsaya māsa brahmā avasthita vantike tāta prasamaya upehi So, all of them, all the demigods, they wanted to pacify. The Lord was very angry, but they failed. Then at last they requested Lakshmiji to pacify the Lord. She could not dare to approach. What is this? speaking of pacifying. Then at last they decided that this five years old boy, the Lord may be compassionate upon him, and for him he has appeared. So let him be engaged in pacifying the Lord. So Brahma, the head of all the demigods presented there, he decided Prahladam Prasayamasa. He pushed him forward, my dear Prahlad, my dear son, better you go forward and pacify. It is something like to push a little child in the cage of the lion. It is something like that. Nobody is there. So, Prahlad Maharaj, he, he knew very well that however ferocious he may be, I am not afraid, he is my Lord, I am not afraid. He was jolly, innocent, pure devotee, he had no fear. So he was sent, my dear Prahlad, you try. So, Brahma avasthitam antike. He was very near, sitting, but he had no fear. Just on the lotus feet, near the lotus feet of the Lord, he was sitting. Others who had come contemplating, he was free. The Rav under the shelter of the Lord, sapāga mule, mahatpadam, purnajaso murāri, his murari and everything is under his feet. This is the conclusion when one is advanced in Krishna consciousness. Vrlad Maharaj, although he was a boy, I five years old, it did not matter. He was first class devotee, Mahabhagat. That is possible. The devotional service is nothing material, it is spiritual, so there is nothing impossible, impossible. That is real appreciation of spiritual life. If one thinks that Prahlad Maharaj was only five years old, how he could offer such nice verses in glorifying the Lord? That is possible. Bhakti does not depend on the age, bhakti depends on sincerity of service. It is not that because one man is older than me, therefore he will be greater devotee. No. Ohi tuki apratihata. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल भक्ति मास्टी विदाउट एनी मोटी विदाउट एनी मोटी ऑफ पर्सनल ग्रेटिफिकेशन दट इज रियल भक्ति अन्ना विलासिता सुन्नम वी हैव टू मेक ऑल अवर डिजायर जीरो ज्ञान कर्मा जनामृतम पीपल आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द होल क्रिएशन बाय नॉलेज एंड भक्ति डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन नॉलेज ज्ञान कर्म और कर्म कर्म मीन्स स्वीट इव एक्शन नॉट दैट बिकॉज यू आर अ वेरी बिग बिजनेस मैन यू आर वेरी सक्सेसफुल देर फॉर यू विल बी इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण नो दैट इज नॉट और इफ यू थिंक वन इज वेरी पोर इन नॉलेज लो बॉर्न नो एजुकेशन स्टिल ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड भक्ति लॉ प्रोवाइडेड ही इज प्योर यू मेटीरियल कंडीशन दे आर नॉट प्रैक्टिकली एप्लीकेबल टू स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ श्री चैतन्य महापुर से यो बात जो आगे कहो डबाय रामानंद राय वॉज प्रपोजिंग दिस इज दिगिनिंग ऑफ भक्ति स्टेट बढ़ना संधर्म कर्म त्याग कर्म संन्यास इन फुल सरेंडर सर्वधर्मान ऑल एवरी थिंग चैतन्य महापुरुष से यह बात झाग दीज आर एक्सटर्नल फॉर मैरिट इफ यू नो समथिंग बेटर देन दिस प्लीज So Ramanand Rai, when quoted a verse from Brahma's prayer, "Sthane sthita suti gatang thunu vang mano bhi prayin ajita bhi jito." Krishna is ajita. Nobody can conquer him. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, "Matta parataram nanya." Nobody is. Greater in every respect, not that Krishna is shorter, at least in this respect. He is shorter in one respect that he could not repay back the obligation he received from the gopis. He was only shorter to the gopis. That is his grace. He says that I cannot repay you. It is impossible. Please be satisfied with your own service. That is the gopis. So you are shorter, or else, especially before Radharani, he felt himself short. Otherwise, he is the supreme. He is always the supreme. Matta parasaram nanya kinti jasti sanjaya. So, if you want to conquer over this unconquerable Krishna, then, according to the prayer of Brahma and appreciated by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the sthane sthita suti gatang thano angavano bhi, you remain in your prayer. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you become very humble. Don't be puffed up. Gyanee prayasam udapasta namante. You should not think yourself that you are very advanced by my speculative knowledge. I can understand God. That is mistake. That is not money. Uh, you have to give up first of all this uh, attain that I am very learned. I am very rich, or I am very this and that. Therefore, for me to understand God, nothing. They think like Janmai Sadhya Sutat Sri Vi. Those are very much proud. They do not take Krishna consciousness very seriously. They think this poor fellow who has no money. They, No food star. They have come 
in the name of Krishna for begging. So it is for them, it is not for us. I am very rich, I am very uh, opulent, I am very educated, I am very aristocratic. So for me there is no need of the, the Indians say like that in your country. Now we have uh, known this Krishna, Hare Krishna. We have, now it is done. Now it is technology. So these papta persons cannot understand Krishna. One has to become very humble. Uh, Christ also says the kingdom of God is for the humble and the meek. That is actually, uh, and Krishna also says, Sarva dharma antparintajya mami kam sarva This is the beginning of humbleness. Uh, yes, I have nothing insignificant. Bhavnam janmanam anti gyanavarma. This is real knowledge. To remain always insignificant. Uh, before Guru Krishna, then it is problem. If somebody thinks that I have become more than my Guru, more than Krishna, then he finished. Uh, so one should become very humble and meek. It doesn't matter where he is situated, either this institutionally, uh, Brahmachari, Vyasra, Manapastra, Sanlad. Uh, even one has taken Sanlad, he should remain always humble. Uh, so never we should think that I have become very big personality. Uh, that was the instruction of my Guru Maharaj. Uh, Baro Vaishnava. I am very big Vaishnava. Everyone should come and uh, obey my order. This is content position. Uh, the real position is one should be very humble and me. Gyani prayasam mudhupasam namanta yo. Namanta means something. Uh, one should be prepared to learn from namanta yo sarmukhani. Those are pure devotees. From them one should be very much anxious to hear. That the same thing, Ulla Vilasita Sulla, who has no other desire in the material except to serve Krishna, he is pure devotee. So one should be anxious in humbleness to hear from such personality. He doesn't require to change. There are so many questions sometimes whether it is necessary to take sannyas. It is, by the routine word, it is necessary. But if one is serious, so for him it is not necessary. Because for a serious student of devotion, Krishna is in his hand. So, anyway, even if you are a sannyasi or grihastha or manaprastha, it doesn't matter. You should remain very humble. Uh, that is required. And you should hear from the realized soul in a humbleness. Then the Krishna, the great, he will be conquered by you. Uh, so Prahlad Maharaj was that type of Mahabhagavatam. Uh, he was not a child, yet he did not know the formality to become unnecessarily very prestigious. He was by nature a small boy. Just like here, this boy, if he insult, he doesn't care for him because he's a child. Or if you praise him, he does not think himself very much papta. This is child's nature. Pallad Maharaj was in that position. Uh, he didn't care. His father wanted to chastise him in so many ways. He didn't care. And he always said, he is my father. He's joking. That's all. Uh, 
This is simplicity. See, this simplicity is very valuable. So Pallad Maharaj was in that position. Therefore, Mama selected him. My dear Pallad, my dear child, please approach the Lord. He is very Try to pacify him. Pallādaṁ bhrīśayāvāsa brahmā avasthitamaṁ antike tātva. My dear child, my dear boy, tātva prasamayo upehi. Please go forward and try to pacify him. Sapitre kupitaṁ prabhu. Our Lord Prabhu, he has become very, very angry. Nobody can excess in Jani. Just like nobody can excel the Supreme Personality God in anything. Similarly, when he is angry, nobody can excel him. He becomes so angry. So he is always, God is great means great in everything. When he is angry, nobody can excel him in Jani. And when he is very peaceful, nobody can excel him. This is God. Asama Urdha. God means nobody is equal, nobody is greater. So as the Lord was angry, nobody can show his anger equally. And nobody can become greatly angry or more greatly angry than Krishna. He is always topmost. So such anger was exhibited. Why? No. It is said, Sapitre Kupitam. He is inducing, Brahma is inducing that we never seen the Lord so angry, but it is on account of your father. So it is your duty. Go there. <laughs> the child will accept, yes. My father committed so many offenses. Therefore, it is my duty uh, to pacify the Lord. Therefore, he reminded me, because he was a child. But a child, it is for your father he has become so angry. So it is your duty to go and pacify him. So, the every word in Bhagavad Gita is meaning, Tapitre Kupitang Prabhu. Don't think that uh, it is our duty, it is your duty. Uh, although you are Brahma, Lakshmi, all that. So real duty is your. This is little uh, joking. Uh. The Prahlad Maharaj is with bad, all right. Either for his father or for everyone. That is Vaishnava. Vaishnava does not consider that I have to pray to Krishna for my father, for my mother. No. Vaishnava is ready to offer prayer. Paradukha dukhi. He is always unhappy seeing these fallen conditioned souls unhappy. Other Vishnu personally, he has no unhappiness. Now he must be busy for a durutaya vai taranya. That will be explained. Because vidya gayana maha mrita magna chitya suchi tato vimukha chitya sa maya sukhaya varamud vahato mura. The Vaishnav is always sorry for the rascals in the world. Otherwise he has nothing to be unhappy. He can sit down anywhere, he can sleep anywhere, he can eat anything. He doesn't require anyone's help. He is, as Krishna is, self-sufficient. Similarly, Krishna, not exactly like that, but a Vaishnav is also self-sufficient depending only on Krishna, that is Krishna. So he has nothing to lament or nothing to degrade. He is always pleased in the service of the Lord, but he is always sorry for the conditioned soul for suffering the material pangs on account of ignorance. Thank you very much.